So Tara and I have this running joke whenever we're standing around naked. No, seriously. You see, I have these little sags at the bottom of my butt cheeks. Let's put it this way. They're not the most attractive aspect of my physique. We usually joke by saying, hey, look at your or my saggy baggy butt cheeks. Too funny. Honestly, you're obviously asking yourself now, why is he telling me this? Well, the reason is the topic of today's little video, sagging skin. Listen, here's the way I look at it. As we age, particularly when we hit our 60s, our skin, along with all of the other connective tissue in our body, loses some of its inherent elasticity. That simply means that among other changes, when the tissue stretches, it doesn't snap back quite as quickly or as effectively as it did before when we were younger. Naturally, this gradual loss of elasticity tends to show up in places where that tissue or skin is normally or frequently in a stretched position or where it's impacted by gravity, such as the butt cheeks. Think about it, when you're sitting on a bike or in a chair and your hips are bent and your knees are forward, your butt cheeks are being stretched. So when you stand up, what you get is a little less elastic snap back of the tissue and instead a little saggy baggy butt like me. The thing is that sag would be much worse if I didn't have strong glutes. Because as you probably know, when muscle also wastes away and that shrinking of muscle is combined with the loss of elasticity in the skin, you get major sag and that isn't good. From either a functional or visual perspective, we need strong hips and glutes to age well and feel great. So what to do? Well, here are my three recommendations for today. First, and you know this already, you have to strength train, especially when you hit your 50s and 60s and beyond. Nothing is more important than maintaining muscle mass when it comes to aging well. I expend a lot of energy on stabilizing and strengthening my hips, let me tell you, and I know every minute of effort pays off, not only in how I look when I'm standing around naked, but also how much easier it is to move, and how good my low back typically feels too. Because we know a weak and unstable butt means more low back pain. Secondly, reduce the sugar and processed foods in your diet. Sugar is partly responsible for the increased production of something called AGES, AGES, which is an acronym for Advanced glycation end products. Suffice to say, these are bad for your skin health and overall health. I write a little bit about them in my book. Third, and perhaps most importantly, don't fret about what are largely very natural changes that occur as we age. To think of it another way, I beg you to focus on what you can control and improve on and let the rest go. And yes, if you're reading between the lines, what I'm saying is that most of the creams and lotions and stuff that's sold to fix wrinkles and saggy skin doesn't work. Here's the thing. To me, aging well is about accepting what is normal and doing all we can to embrace the aspects of aging that we can control. Let the rest go. If you eat well by reducing sugar and eating more real whole foods and you get stronger and you get out and move and you get out and enjoy the sun in moderation and then along with it, celebrate every phase of your life for the gift that it is, that my friends is the way to age well and feel great. Now as for me and my saggy baggy butt cheeks, well, between you and me, I still think they look pretty good naked. At least that's what Terrace says. <laughs>